It, it, it breaks my heart, it, 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 my blood boils and every swear word I'm holding back on to see that in Australia there is a concrete bollard between one side of the street and the other, between Tweed Heads and Coolangatta, right? I mean, look, I get it, you know, it, it ain't east-west Germany in terms of its seriousness, but the <sighs> idea that you can't cross one side of the road to the other because of a concrete bollard is offensive. Well, well, Paul, I'm going to take a different view, sorry, to some of the others here tonight. I believe in the states. I believe, I, I disagree with Bronwyn that we're somehow just one nation. We're actually a commonwealth of states and the states under the Commonwealth Constitution have uh, particular rights and as a senator I'm particularly uh, uh, interested in protecting those rights. And so while I think now the border restrictions are unreasonable given the current conditions, I was supportive of them in the past and, and it's a well-established right of state governments for public health reasons to restrict the movement of produce or people if they deem that to be the necessary for their for their state sure, and that still happens through. happens on a daily no. basis when you go through tasmania and you can't take in produce and food that's the restriction they've placed on them and i don't support pauline hansen's uh court case it is a, it is clearly a stunt and, and clearly a mm -hmm. uh, an attempt to grab headlines no. and 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 i i don't want to see i don't want to see that the rights of state governments which have already been diminished massively by a high court i don't want to see them more centralized in canberra I don't want no. to see uh, no. judges judges in Canberra making decisions about state governments. That should be left up to the states to, right, to, to, to decide. We should be rightly critical when we Matt, don't agree with those decisions, but it is the states' rights. It took 10 years, Matt, to get the Federation together. 10 years of debating all these issues. And if you go back and look at all those debates, one of the most important questions that was debated around Section 92 of the Constitution was the fact that that you had to establish it as a single nation of Australia. Yes, the Constitution provides for uh, the states to be sovereign states. Yes, it gives them powers that they can make. But the emphasis was a federation that we should become a single nation of Australia. And that's exactly why I said what I said. And that in no way puts the Federation at risk, but it does say that there are certain things that states may not do. Now, I have no doubt that uh, Premier Palaszczuk has some sort of uh, polling that shows her if she can keep them locked up until September, that uh, the, the people of Queensland are somehow more likely to return her at the October election. And I have no doubt uh, that in, uh, in Victoria, uh, that the Premier Andrews has allowed the Chinese to infiltrate that state and therefore infiltrate the country in a way that is deleterious to the entire country. That's the sort of thing we can't have. That's why the High Court was created. That's why the High Court indeed ruled on you and allowed you to be considered still a citizen and keep your place <laughs> yeah, in the Yeah, well, Senate. I'm the one, I'm the one person on the panel that has a 100% record in the High Court. Now, I'm not a lawyer <laughs> like Amanda, but I... I, I That's I, because I, you had I, a very I think, good... You know, everything you you've said, everything you said is true. Everything... I did have a very good lawyer. Every, a few good lawyers. Everything you've said is true, Broman. But it's also true uh, that it's a well-established principle that state governments have the right uh, to restrict travel and movement uh, for public health purposes. Now, the key if question is here... If you look at the case law, should, Matt, you should, say you're not should, a lawyer. Should if you look have, at the case law, should, there should are we have, very big... All right, sorry, I'll, I'll let you have your piece, Broman. Should, well, should we have the High Court make a decision about whether or not something is in the public health of a state or not? And that's where I'm getting concerned, um, because I am critical of the way Palaszczuk is doing this. I do agree with you, she's probably doing it for political and polling purposes, but she's the Premier of Queensland and her, she'll have her day of judgment uh, in on October the 22nd this year. I don't think it should be in the and High Court. 